Alright, so, uh, Epic, I got a little problem with you. So, the whole new email thing, you hold your email button, and then you go, and then you, like, move your selector over to that emote, and then you let go, and then you're supposed to do that emote. So, I'm pressing, uh, so, if you don't know, hang on. I have customized controls, and my emote is left on the D-pad, and my replay the last emote is down on the D-pad. So down on the D-pad is my first emote, technically, or the last emote I did. However, when I try to do an emote, I press left on the D-pad, and it comes up so I don't have to hold it. But there's nothing I can do to select my emotes. And I don't know why. These two are empty. I think these are for, like, mimicking, but I don't know why you need that. Just either give us, like, maybe, like, this amount of emotes or something like that, or just turn it back to normal. But I can't do any of these emotes unless I go back to my other unless I go to a different settings so builder pro now emote is down on the d-pad apply save changes and there now I can do other emotes but I don't know why this doesn't work on with custom controls I don't know if this is a problem with the emote wheel being bugged out crashing some games but if it is, I hope that this can be respied soon. Because this does affect my gameplay. Can't pick anything. Just to press, and that's it. I just pressed it. Hold. Nothing. I can't even select anything. So, uh, I don't know why you made this change. It did not need to be made. I think the emote wheel was perfectly fine the way it was beforehand. I mean, you just had to press it select and then just press the select button. I feel like this is more complicated. You took something that was completely okay and made it worse. I'm not trying to like fault you, Epic, but why? Just why?